Hello and welcome to Bubble Tea Adventures. No, hello and welcome to R&DW Adventures. I'm Renee. And I'm Daryl. And for today's junk food, we have boba. My favorite. We have Hocus Popping Boba. We've tried some of the other Pocus uh, uh, canned bubble tea and we actually keep some of it in the fridge as mm -hmm. your emergency stash. When, Just in case we can't make it to bubble tea. Yeah, when she can't get real bubbles. I don't usually love popping pearls, but these seemed interesting to try. Yeah, and we had to try them because, you know. I mean, because... <laughs> how can you not? Exactly. So we've got the three flavors that they had at Five Below. We've seen them other places since then, but that's where we started. Uh, so there's this uh, peach oolong tea, which is the one I'm assuming you're going to like. I like oolong. Uh, the purple one, I can't remember what it was. Mixed, Mixed berry. berry hibiscus tea, which is the one I think I'm going to like. And then the strawberry uh, dragon fruit oolong tea. I'm not sure. I'm how just expecting that one's going to be Let's try too that much. one first. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't have high hopes for strawberry oolong. I like strawberry and I like oolong, but I don't know about together. We should have shaken it a little bit. I did before I put it on oh, the table. Okay. Previous experience has told us, agitate them. I think it's the passion fruit part. It's not bad. I just don't really care for passion fruit, but I would still give this a three. Dragon fruit? Dragon fruit. Okay. I don't love dragon fruit or passion fruit for that matter, but I would give this a three. All right, I'm going to say something, and you have to preface this with, I'm not going to drink the shooty, oh, I, I'm not going to drink the fruity tea like that. It's still kind of mm -hmm. fake. Mm -hmm. That is so much better than I expected, though. I'm giving it, it a four. I'm giving it a three. I don't care for the bubbles at all in there, but the tea is it's, not bad. It's still a little bit too perfumey, not... Yeah. A but it's really a lot taste? better than I thought it would be. I thought it would be disgusting, and it's not. I just yeah. don't love it. All right. Next up, the one that I think I'm going to like, which is the uh, uh, mixed berry. But I'll try it. <laughs> mixed berry hibiscus, which, talking about a fruity tea, yeah, hibiscus is that uh, flower Flowers, meat. yeah. I don't mind hibiscus tea. I don't like mixed berries. I kind of like that one. Four. I can see why you would like it. Again, it's not what I'm going to drink. I have to say. But I kind of like it. I wouldn't drink it, but it has the exact flavor I don't like. It doesn't matter what it's in. So it probably still deserves a three. All right. Last one is the one that you're probably going to like. Oops, turning it the wrong way. Which is the peach oolong. And the bubbles make it worse. The popping this, bubbles. Popping bubbles. And I do think that these popping bubbles are better quality-wise than Definitely. the tapioca that's in their other stuff. Mm -hmm. They're, they have some of the best tapioca, but any of the canned tapioca generally doesn't work as well. It's true. It's weird. The popping pearls, I think, travel better and package better. That is true. I'm not a fan of the peach, but that's going to get a four and a half. I'm going to give it a five. I would, well, actually, let me Even give it a Even with the popping pearls? I'm going to give it a four and a half. Okay. If take away the pearls, I would give it a five. I like it. Um, again, I probably wouldn't order it a lot, but this would be a good backup. Glam. Because the other ones are also milky. I probably... We should take this, uh, we should take a uh, trip over to uh, Five Below mm -hmm. and stock up on the and peach And keep them in the fridge, yes. But no, you want some of these. No. No? Um, I I'll stick with my time. I don't think I could have this every day, though, because it's super sweet. Yes. But it's good. That that's that's my problem with all of these, which I expected. They are all very sweet teas. Yeah. The nice thing is they're not milky, so these are going to be better the, on a summer day. Right. So, right, that's true, because the other Pocus ones are all... Milk, milk teas, yeah. which again is not my favorite, but or I Or at least the ones that we've tried in the can so far. Right. And we do have some mixes that we're going to try, some instant kits. Right. But that's coming way down the road. Because we have a lot more videos to do first. Speaking of which, we have a lot of other videos over here. That's our channel icon. 
Click on that, check out some of the other stuff we've done, aside from the uh, taste test junk fooding. If you like those, over here is our playlist of that stuff. But back on our channel, hit the subscribe and the bell icon if you do like what you see, so that way you get notified when we have new stuff that drops.